What's up everybody? This is Heat Related Illnesses Part 2. Uh, we're going to talk about self-treating today. Basically how to take care of yourself if you do get hot. Uh, sorry it took so long to get this video up. I was waiting for the perfect moment. And it's the perfect moment because this is like 90, 91 degrees out here. And I'm taking a break right now. So uh, we're going to talk about it biggest thing is you do need to take breaks, uh, preferably a 10 minute break every hour uh, for anything that's over 100 degrees. You know, a 15 minute break every two hours, just don't break or don't exhaust yourself. Um, you know, don't be out too long in the heat. Go in someplace cool, sit for a little bit, sit in the shade like I am today. Uh, Go inside a house, or it's AC, inside your truck, turn on the AC. That's basically it there. Uh, another thing is what you wear, you know, cotton t-shirts. Mainly because when it gets wet, it'll suck the heat out from your body. Perfect for summertime. Uh, I think flannel also does that too, but I could be wrong. You know, I don't know. I know cotton does it. Number three in this list is you want to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated with what? Always have water with you. Just plain old ordinary water. Uh, if you don't like water, you can always carry flavor packs, but have water with you because we'll discuss it in part three because it's important. Why carry water with you? in this segment though. Think of your body like a radiator. Or your car, that is. In order to keep your vehicle cool to run, it's got to put cold water in it. So, you drink cold water in, it gets heated up through the body, and then it comes out as hot water. So, it basically look, acts like a radiator. Also, you can pour it on your forehead. Evaporation cools it too. So that's basically it for this part. I'll see you in part three. I will post it as soon as I can. See you.